Well, hello everyone and welcome to Elden Ring on Side Quest. Now please, be very, very quiet on account of the brass section here camping the spawn point. It's this again. Welcome back to Playframe and to Dark Souls 3. The servers are back and so are the Dans. Dan, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm excited for uh, this level because this one's this is Freeze Easy Peak, and this is one of my favorite <laughs> themes in the Banjo universe. Uh, oh yeah, Kirk yeah. really knocked it out of the park with this. Really, really set the, the atmosphere. If I can just remember the direction to go find Boggy, let's go race him. Right? Yeah. Where is that guy? Where is Boggy? There's supposed to be a big old snowman here too, and I'm not seeing it. Can't have a sword this blasphemous and not swing it. See. I go with what works. Uh-oh. When did they decide to change what worked? I didn't start doing anything different. I was doing things that worked and then suddenly they stopped working. I blame the game. This place is so pretty and gross all at once. R really? It really is. The, the like, bug infection little, like, egg stuff is mm -hmm. kind of like you get the, the creepy crawlies, like, you yep. suddenly become itchy. <laughs> it's like, ugh. I did have a moment of that today where um, there was a, uh, a a big old spider I saw climbing on the, uh, the, the, what you would call it? Uh -huh. the, the screen? And I was like, yeah. Boy, I'm glad he's out there. And then I looked and he's on the inside of the screen. No. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I have to deal with this probably. Oh. Oh, so that'll no. be fun. Oh, yeah. oh so you haven't yet? <laughs> no, no. So I got Dark Souls 3 to play. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of maybe like if you ignore this problem, it'll go away, right? That's how I, that's how I deal with most problems. <laughs> So here's a question. If you do ignore this problem, and next time you go back, you don't see the spider there, how will you feel? He must have went away. <laughs> okay, problem good, solved. good. <laughs> Not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if I was going to be worried about every spider I didn't know about, I would never sleep. <laughs> That's a great point, actually. <laughs> I'm just catching my breath a little bit. <laughs> go on, uh, I'll catch up. Buddy, oh, you're buddy. the one who ran ahead. You were so excited. You could have just waited. <laughs> we could have gone a pace, like, come here together. There's a story about, like, rabbits and turtles that I'm going to tell you later, and it's going to blow your mind. <laughs> Give me your instrument. Please. I want it. I'll take good care of it. Feed and water it every day. Come on. Greedy. You can't take it with you. Uh oh. I've been seen. I have been perceived, and now we're in trouble. Yeah. This is what happens when you make enemies of the band kids in school. Ah. Do I have any fun arrows? Ooh, fun arrows. We have some fun arrows. Party arrows. Party arrows? I'd like to think that you have some arrows that are basically just like classic Joker's like gun with a bang flag in it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Don't know how you do that with arrows, but you'll find a way. It just, oh yeah, what would you do? You, what, if, what if you did like a, <laughs> a an arrow, but the arrow tip's just confetti? And just Ooh. or like just uh, glitter. I like that. A little glitter bomb wherever it hits. Little glitter bomb arrow. That's good. Could just be a regular arrow that does shoot and kill fools, but then like once it hits the enemy, then the little bang flag unfurls kind of behind it. From that the is shaft. actually very <laughs> funny. That is actually very good. There's layers to that one, which hopefully there'll be some survivor to appreciate. <laughs> or I guess later. Like, when the authorities arrive to analyze the scene, that'll just... Yeah, it's pretty good. ...throw them for a loop. Keep them guessing. <laughs> what was the murder weapon? I don't know. I'm getting mixed signals. This is a... I feel like this is a Mitch Hedberg joke we're walking into. 
<laughs> this is it's stuck to be killed by an arrow. He's like, there's the body. Let's go this way. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, the brass section doesn't forget. The brass section doesn't forgive. I didn't even do anything yet. To you. Specifically. What inspirations do you think Atlas took from this game for the Persona series? Hmm. You know, like how this directly fed in? Yeah. Social links except the opposite. This poor child. Anti-social links. Anti-social links. Yeah. That's a great idea for Persona 6. Yep. I'm here for it. Welcome everyone to Playframe. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a long time watcher, first time streamer on the Playframe channel. Aww. Do people, do people like it when we're bad at video games? <laughs> I certainly hope so. I assume so. I have to assume so. Yeah. Because I'm definitely not good at all of them that I play. Okay. And people still come back. Okay. That's good. Which I take to mean as a positive sign that it is all right to suck at the game. Okay, great. Awesome. <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same page. Uh, because I'm not sure if you knew what you were getting when you brought me into the channel, but it, it sure was not the highest quality of gameplay. I, what I'm getting is yet another Dan to sort of like add to our growing cast. Yes. I've uh, lost. Oh, Chaos Carry left a bunch of things, gracious. All right. Feeling chaotic. Crucifix of the Mad King plus five. Dragon Slayer's Sword Spear plus five. Arster's Spear plus five. Old King's Great Hammer plus five. Vort's Great Hammer plus five. Yorm's Great Machete plus five. Dragon Slayer Great Axe plus five. Demon's Great Axe plus five. Frayed Blade, plus five. Good God. <laughs> Chaos carry. Repeating crossbow, plus five. Gracious. I, like, have to bow and then applaud? Because you really are living up to the name right now, but the energy you're bringing. Absolute chaos. You never know what Chaos Carry is going to do. Crystal Sage's Rapier, plus five. Dancer's Enchanted Swords, plus five. <laughs> There's a lot to absorb here in Wendy's house in yeah. a game that we only kind of know how to play. Okay, okay. I did I did do a jump. Maybe we should have started the... with the game we knew how to play. Huh. Hmm. I don't want to tell you how to do things on your channel, Dan, but that <laughs> does seem like a better idea than the thing that we did do. <laughs> this is good. It's what we're learning. Yeah. We're, you know, it's you're teaching me how to YouTube because <laughs> I do not have the YouTube skills. Uh, so I appreciate you really taking the time out of your day. Absolutely. No, you're going to be a natural. Okay. Excellent. Um, what should the channel that I start be called? Hmm. The channel that you should start. Yeah. Let's see. All right. Well, let's, well, let's like narrow it down to sort of like a subcategory here. There's okay. all kinds of YouTube. So you could be like, okay. you could do the video essay sort of thing. You could do uh -huh. the let's play route. If you want to do that, you do need to learn like some screaming. Uh, what little, if I what if I bit. don't like screaming? Hmm. Then let's playing is right out. Okay, all right. Next follow up option. Um, how you are you? Could, at, wait, how are you at screaming? I've done like a little bit of screaming. I sort of like snuck in. I will shout on occasion mm -hmm. when surprised. Okay. But otherwise, I try to do sort of like a chill vibe. It's like literally the only thing that is holding me back is the lack of volume. Mm, okay. So so what you're saying is that like you are, you are one good scream away from. <laughs> like YouTube fame. I'd like fortune. to think that this is like training with weights on right now. Uh, Once okay. I do start screaming, I am just going to like yeah, the, rock it to the top. The whole audience just opens right up. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah. Every like, algorithm will know my name. Yeah. Dan, specifically. Yeah, Dan. <laughs> Firelink, Great Sword, plus five. Just picking up all Demon's the things. Fist, plus five. Rose of Ariandel, plus five. Yorm's Great Shield, plus five. Frida's Great Scythe, plus five. Dragon Slayer Great Shield plus five. Moonlight Great Sword plus five. Wolf Knight Great Sword plus. This did you just plus five the entire game? Great Sword of Judgment plus five. Wolnir's Holy Sword plus five. Kala Slayer Great Sword plus five. Valor Heart plus five. Really glad that apparently stuff got patched because I'd suddenly be worried. Am I just picking up just like every hack that's ever existed in Dark Souls Three? <laughs> Gran, why are you meeting with Mrs. Fratelli and Mr. Tolliver late at night? Goodness. Shut up. I was surprised. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. It went done. It and then somebody popped up. It did go done. 
but it's just a little bad reporter. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Luca. Yeah. <laughs> See? Don, you scared me. Me too. I've also realized that I did not put a protective cover over the keyboard on the recording machine right now. And I have had a cat walk on that keyboard in the middle of a recording before. One moment. There we go. All safe now. Fun fact. Uh, the very, very first episode of this long series we've been on was not my first attempt at recording that very first episode. There! Nice! Oh my we gosh, we won! It happened! We did. A single yen victory! A single one! <laughs> Look at us. Uh, We've come so far. Thank you, yen. Finally. Hey! <laughs> a two-on-one victory against yen. We did it. That shouldn't feel like an accomplishment, but it, it does. It really did still <laughs> feel good. <laughs> it's a big tree. That's a pretty big tree, huh? Mm-hmm. Big old tree. Man, can you imagine if FromSoft did something with, like, a really big tree? <laughs> it's a shame they went ahead and just kind of, like, burned that idea right here. Yeah, really. Weird. Could have made something out of that. There's literally nobody here that I can shoot. So I'm very far behind. You are a bit far behind right now. Is, is telling it like it is also part of being a YouTuber on Listen, like, a Let's Player. <laughs> the thing about the thing about YouTube and being an internet personality is that people appreciate, like, sincerity. Honesty, yeah. Sincerity, <laughs> like... Yeah. yeah, if there's one thing I know about YouTube, it, you always go to for, go to them for the hard facts. <laughs> okay. I don't know, I've been... Double panned. Double panned. Yeah. Uh, wh which is oddly what will happen to me if I start a YouTube channel. <laughs> Strangely enough. <laughs> Um, oh no. Oh, I don't have any. Please, please, I'm in a parachute. Um, <laughs> so it seems like you sort of like your more, your approach is more like aggressively like calling yeah. the competition. It's sometimes offense is in fact the best defense against Dan or Dan fence. <laughs> Dan fence. As it is sometimes referred to in the biz. Um, <laughs> now, school, there were lots of Dans. I had several Dans in my grade. Mm. It took until I think college for me to find another Dan who I did not think was a, a large jerk. <laughs> so at, there was, you know, like your kid brain is kind of like making patterns out of nothing. Yeah, yeah. There was a good chunk of time where I was just like, are all Dan's jerks? Like, am I just a jerk and I don't know it? <laughs> are we the baddies? Are, am I the baddie? Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm happy to report that was not, in fact, how it went, uh, that I was not, in fact, bad. At, well, I mean, I, I'm a, I'm, I may I may still be the baddie. I don't actually know that. Um I, th I think you're all right, but then I'm another Dan, and I think my perspective is not to yeah, be trusted I don't think in this. We're gonna survey. have to get carried away in on this. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Good idea. Yeah, there's very little I we can do. So that I'm noticing a very uh, a strict first place. If you're not first place, you're last <laughs> scenario. It is going true. Out. Like they're not even giving you the credit for beating me. Yeah. Um. I I still only have the one win. So. This game demands a lot of us. Yeah. Huh. I really want him to do laser so I can punish him with mist. Oh, that'd be so nice. Get him with uh, the mist. Get him with the mist. That'd feel gratifying to me as well, frankly. Right. Any success of mist at this point, it's too late for me to win with <laughs> mist. But if I can see someone else win with mist. <laughs> it's like, like I've paid off my student loans now, but. <laughs> If I saw somebody else's get forgiven with mist, <laughs> I'd still be pretty happy. <laughs> and it's working! Yeah, the mist. mist! The mist is really working! Like, actually really well. Definitely targeting Big Red this time. Mm-hmm. Because if it's a choice between all of that and lasers sometimes... Lasers is great. I'll take the lasers. Lasers... We love it. We love a laser. Yeah, like, we were asking for lasers. Lasers was giving us some quality mist time. Quality mist time. Like, you, mist time that money can't buy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I'm, I'm racking my brain here trying to think of mist puns and just nothing's coming to me. 
Oh, now I am too. Ugh. <laughs> it's a, I guess it's a pun dead end, but yeah, my brain just really refuses to believe it. Yep. I'm sure we'll have like comments just showing us up. Yeah. Check out all our cool pun skills. Real missed opportunity. Oh, Dan. Saved it. <laughs> Good. I got to give points to these fish. Usually it is like other animals who have figured out to spawn camp the fish at rivers to take like to make them easy prey. Mm. These fish figured out, you know what? We're going to go to them. If we just wait here and just like open our mouths, snowboarders will come to us. Yeah. And all their friends laughed at them. Yeah, because they are in a jungle. Yeah, but like look who's laughing now. Yeah, it's it is it was it was an aggressive bet. <laughs> ah, whiff. That's not good. Come on, stop missing. There we go. Nice. Please don't die to two dogs. Ow. Dog, did you get that kill? <laughs> it's kind of impressive, dog. <laughs> Less impressive, dog. Special thanks to whoever is the rightful owner of this game. Yeah, whoever was friends with Dan in grade school and wondered where their copy of Snowboard Kids 2 went. <laughs> Shout out to that person. You left it at our house. Right. So, hey, if you once owned a copy of Snowboard Kids 2 and you're watching and you wrote on your copy 6320 down the side, like, uh, comment and let us know. Yeah. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe. I don't know how we would get it to you, but... No, nah, no. Nah. I mean, I'm not... I don't say that because I'm going to give it back. Yeah. I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah, I'm just <laughs> throwing it out there. <laughs> this place is definitely making me rethink my 30 Vigor situation, though. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> same, same, though. <laughs> same, but less. Is, is that, <laughs> Same, but less. Is this... I assume how I'm feeling now, like this thinking back on my decisions and maybe feeling a pang of regret regarding the amount of HP that I now have based on the choices I made before. I assume this is like your experience in literally every Souls game you've ever played every time. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like I get through and I'm like, really should have got more health, huh? <laughs> hmm, Would have been smart. In retrospect, we really should have invested in a fire extinguisher or two around here. Hindsight is always 2020 with these things. He plopped down cross legged and gazed into the cold flame, waiting. Soon enough, the fire began to die out, popping sporadically, until all that was left was a single ember. Luca stood up and dusted himself off. He plucked the glowing ember from the cold ash, examined it, and slid it into his pocket. I've always loved this particular Dark Souls 3 ending. A keepsake. The voice of his father spoke behind him. <laughs> you made me proud, Buckaroo. <laughs> Jeez! Although the firekeeper calling us Buckaroo always did feel a little weird. I'm excited. Like, I have no idea even what you and I are playing next, but I can't wait. Yeah. There's, there's the, the world is our uh, oyster. Is that it? Pretty much. I think, I think I've said the same exact thing. Like, on, on an episode. Quite possibly, but also understandably, because it is, it is one of those phrases that as I'm saying it, a part of my brain second guesses, like, I think I I must be mixing two yeah, yeah, right. sayings, uh, right? Because this doesn't make any sense. Something's wrong. <laughs> Our oyster? What am I talking about? <laughs> Who's oyster? Bonk. Bonk. And we run. And we run. Hello. Goodbye. This is a very cool sword you have. It's a great sword. 
They don't call they don't call it a great sword for nothing. <laughs> it earned the name. Mm-hmm. I can't quite think of how to make this joke work, but it's like, I didn't go to six years of great medical school to <laughs> get called sword. Just called an okay sword. To get called an okay sword. A fine sword. Mr. Sword is my father. <laughs> I'm excited because I'm going to remember a lot more from this one. Yeah, it's true. There was like... There was a lot that I learned in that in that playthrough with Dan, but chief of all was that uh, I guess young me was really bad at Star Fox. Yeah, I was also bad at, at Star Fox, but I did have Nintendo Power, mm -hmm. uh, so I was in fact able to get to the expert level courses. <laughs> um, but it was a struggle. So that was the trick. Yes, the trick. The trick was opting into Nintendo's monetization system of make your games hard and then sell a magazine subscription. Sell a magazine. Boy, what a racket! Yeah, you know, it, it's <laughs> truly. I, I pine for the days when we get back to that as our uh, monetization strategy in games. Oh, man. We got battle passes and subscription services. Bring back the magazine. Buy our print magazine. Yeah, buy our, our physical magazine. Full of tips. Yeah, tips and tricks. I, I do realize just now that. If I am wrong, I will be immediately corrected <laughs> by potentially hundreds of people. That's the fun of Let's Playing, yes. Yeah, okay. When you say fun... <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Uh, is that actually what you mean? Because mm -hmm. it does... that. No. Okay, <laughs> okay. As long as we're on the same, same page vis-a-vis -vis fun or not. I will... All right, silver lining, you do learn a lot. Okay. I mean, I'll take that. Yeah, so, like, it is educational. I've learned a lot about a lot of games thanks to the, uh, like... <laughs> the magic, <laughs> to, to, magic quote-unquote... Of, yeah, uh, of me saying something and then looking down in comments a week or so later and saying, nope. Yep. <laughs> I was incorrect. Although, you also, other silver lining, you sometimes, like, someone will correct you and they'll be wrong. And that... Oh, that's got to be the best, yes, right? Yes, yes yeah. it is. I still, like, like, I add years to my life every time somebody comes in and tries to tell me that I, on New Frame Plus, recorded the wrong version of Sonic Adventure. Because I did not, and it just... <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is the eighth time I've heard you mention this in an episode. Yep. I believe you. It just gives me never-ending joy. When it stops giving me joy, I'll stop mentioning it. Okay. <laughs> but it's not happened yet. Hey, zombies. <laughs> and now we wait. Chicka, 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 chicka. Wait, I know. Perhaps they'll be drawn... Ooh. ...to my bulging muscles. Oh, there you go. Entice them. How about you, Derwin? Show, show us your muscles. Let's see, mm. you've done a bunch of lifting, you've defeated gods. Yeah, you'd think I'd have more muscles to show for it, Rook. Like, <laughs> I'm like waiting for the six-pack to come in any day now. <laughs> <laughs> well, the clothing can be very deceptive, you know, you've got some a, a very baggy sweater on. That's true. The sweater hides three feet, and... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, admittedly, I'd be pretty terrified if I, sat, I saw, like, a, a three-foot-tall man... Just full of muscle, built like a brick house. I'd be <laughs> running for the hills, honestly. That's true. Low center of gravity, powerful muscles. That person could throw you literally anywhere they wanted. Yeah, it's more focused, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's it's like you're overturning a food cart as we <laughs> <laughs> behind you as we run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> I uh, I did not remember that. If that isn't if that isn't the Ring City experience we've been having summed up in three seconds of footage, just like oh right, <laughs> <laughs> both dead. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, this is fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, here we go again. We sure are remembering things. Oh boy, painfully painful memories. Yeah, but yeah, it's a place we don't remember that is also real hard like hard enough to actually test us so it's killing us when we don't remember mm -hmm. it's it is kind of novel and we are learning things we are learning like running yeah this is our friend see in the hit disney film the lion king mm -hmm. as the great rafiki once said the past can hurt but you can either run from it or learn from it. Ooh. Rafiki was a liar. Yeah. You learn to run from it. That's the lesson. That's the key. Yeah, yeah, that's the lesson. Learn to run from the past. Or it will set you so on fire. 
Hmm? A vase? I know not of what you... Ugh, curse this infernal refuse underfoot. Every point's his dagger. There is something in the water at the man's feet. Um, hmm. Uh, let's see. One moment. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you are completely <laughs> in the water. <laughs> Oh, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> How could I have been so careless? Oh, it's okay, big guy. Oh, it's fine. Everything can be whoop, everything can be solved when you have held a blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I broke my wing, which sucks because the um the blue laser's OP. Yeah, see mission complete instead of mission complete. That's true. Get ready to see that today, yeah, everyone. Hurry. Look, we're 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 gonna be C students today. Like completion's good enough for us. Yeah. You know what? We don't get paid extra. Our parents are not giving us a dollar for every A here. We just need to be We're just gonna We're just gonna check the boxes. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna sink our time into the basketball team after school. <laughs> Frankly, like Dan Jones coming in here and showing off that level of skill. I, like the real risk was that it would start setting y'all's expectations too high, and yeah. I can't have that. And that's a service that I can provide. Yeah, like Evans, I'm real glad you're here. Yeah, I'm, thanks for I'm, joining me today. My my pleasure. I'm happy to bring down the average at any point in time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so this is <laughs> that's this what I love is, about you. Yeah, <laughs> average bringer downer. That's 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 my deal. Oh, uh, so much fun playing Star Fox again. It's just as fun. Know that I. I mean, basically, you probably do. I mean, every single place we've gone has had a huge Andros presence. Yeah. And Andros is win handily winning the elections. Yeah. And the space. people, like, paying us don't seem to have anything anywhere. Yeah. They've got a bunch of ships that are apparently getting destroyed all of the time. We're really willing to fight for the underdog here. Yeah. I mean, it's... Really, it's about sending a message to want to be uh want to be space despots <laughs> and successfully thriving space despots yeah also, also to all of the successful ones I <laughs> wherever you are on your despot journey y yeah inspector briardian told me all about it who to thunk miss ellie was the phantom thief all this time she sure fooled me. Hmm. I'm stumped. Do you have... <laughs> and where were you on the night of the ten minutes ago? Uh... Well, I was uh, getting my nails done. Checks out. Okay. <laughs> Your nails look great. <laughs> uh, thank you. My name is Dan, and this is not a game about cards, which is what you're probably assuming. This is a game about cheating at cards in an effort to survive 18th century France. Unlike having to cheat at cards in an effort to survive 18th century France, this game's great fun. Let me show you. It's here. It's here. It's heist day. It's heist day, everyone. Or the day before the heist when we have to do all the final prep for it's the heist. sleepy heist day. Very sleepy heist day. We're both actually kind of tired too, which is the perfect mindset to be in for children who also have not slept. Yeah, stayed up all night and now need to go do something ridiculous. We're method. <laughs> we're just tired because it's kind of the end of the day and we're both a little bit sleepy and both had a full day. So, sorry if we're also a little bit loopy. Yeah, Stanislavski would be so proud. Super duper proud. There would be a lot of other things to explain to Stanislavski <laughs> about this situation first, but then once all was laid out... <laughs> There'd probably be some room for pride in there amidst all the confusion and... <laughs> Annoyance. Just exhaustion. Stanislavski would also be tired along with us. It'd be great. We'd all be very method. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. He'd fit right in. And Stanislavski would then say, stop saying that, and <laughs> it would be great. <laughs> oh, Miyamoto worked on Star Fox. Hey. Good job, Miyamoto. Good for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he needed a W. Really, his career is just kind of slumping after that, that plumber one. It really didn't work out. Uh, it's been coasting ever since that level one one thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He just kind of like did that one and, and uh, just chilled out, sat on his laurels. God, I love Miyamoto. What a, yeah. good game. What a good video game designer. 
Being a passenger alongside uh, Dan playing Star Fox is just... It's one of your great pleasures in life nowadays. Two for two on being a really grand time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, two out of two Dan's uh, reasonable pilots. <laughs> two out of two Dan co-pilots. Uh, very strong performance again from you as well. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. My part was easy. Yeah, it was. I say words. Yeah, it's true. Uh, and no one grades me. Well, no, that's not true. Yeah, but well, rank in. But no one laughs at oh, me. Yeah. No, that's also not true. Eh, yeah. Hmm. All right. But well, I had fun. Neither, so. Yeah, this would be really good. Okay. Well, now that you say it, you know this was a terrible time. Uh, <laughs> but we did it together. We did it together. Rolo, I'm in. As expected, there's a control panel. Great timing. We're stuck at a locked door marked number 24601. <laughs> Need you to get us through. Jean Valjean! <laughs> what if someone catches us? We should get out of here. I'm not leaving my friend, Solomon. Sorry, 24601 was the prisoner number of Jean Valjean in Limes. Right, yeah. Yeah. That was my assumption. Yeah. Otherwise, that thing you said would have been extremely weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. But I thought context That honestly would have raised more questions. <laughs> I have great news. Mm hmm. I definitely didn't die to a dragon. <laughs> That's good, because, like, dying to a dragon is. Yeah, it's weird how I would even bring it up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Just didn't want you to worry. <laughs> yeah, you know. I know, it's, I know it's like the first thing you usually ask me when we hang out. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, before we do anything, are you, like,. Did you die to a dragon, dragon on the way here? Murder you. Because I worry about you. Why did the summon sign go away? No one's invading me. Um, I got summoned as uh, some kind of, you know, in, in your encounter, and uh, <laughs> the person may or may not have had any magic resistance as well. <laughs> and I do kind of feel bad. <laughs> I am really enjoying <laughs> hearing how many Souls players should maybe consider more magic resistance in their build. Listen, your your big swords are cool and all, but when I hit you with one thing and you die... <laughs> <laughs> okay, my side is back down. <laughs> That's so fast. <laughs> Here we go. Controls very similarly to getting over it, as you can see. Yes. Uh, except for instead of a hammer, it's a sharpened lance. So. It's true. Sharp lance. And you, I know some of you are thinking already, is the lance pointy and like hazardous and can you like hurt each other? Yes. <laughs> yes, Betrayal! you can. <laughs> I can't believe you did this. <laughs> oh, this bit. Oh, uh, we're, we're going to need... Here, I'll create for you a kind of hazardous platform. <laughs> hey, it works. Whee! Hey, nice. The important uh, thing is you land on a... Specific part of the platform. Eh. Let me. And being able, like, even just solving puzzles, having a lance instead of a hammer is kind of fun. Being able to, like, poke some of these little boxes and. All right, let me. Uh... Another box down for. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> so I feel like the box didn't do its intended job. <laughs> <laughs> it, oh. it caused a few unexpected hiccups on the way there, but the box is there. And the box is there. Any skull crunching noises that may or may not have happened is purely coincidental. I gotta say, I think I might want to get my money back on this Dragon Slayer Great Axe. It's not. Yeah. It didn't really do what. Uh, it's got one <laughs> thing that it's supposed to do. <laughs> I went to go fight a dragon, and it turns out I was the one who died. False well, advertising. I. Uh, I'm being I'm being called by uh, another being. <laughs> Which covenant are you in? What's going on? <laughs> I'm not in the covenant. I think it's just it's just pulling You're me. Just getting bad luck. Yeah. Getting pulled in by other people who should have more magic resist. All right. They should. Are we gonna get three for three? I'm I'm excited to see. Let's go. Round round three. Ding ding ding. Okay, no another non Dan Hunter, so I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> oh, not a lot of magic resist, huh, bud? <laughs> You're really just exposing a real wide open hole in the meta. <laughs> hey! Stunts! Oh no! 
<laughs> now, if you come past and you notice a knight impaled on a spike who looks a lot like me, it's obviously not me. It's just a look-alike. I see. I, I see. come from uh, a long line of impaled knights. I'll go fight this thing and die or whatever. Maybe I should bring the gun in. Yeah, why not? Seems fitting. Maybe it's weak to gun. I'm weak to gun. We just couldn't land it. We thought, okay, maybe I was going too fast. Maybe I need to like, okay, I'll take it slow. Maybe I, maybe I need to like position it to where like I'm on this side and I kind of like, like, ha, like that, nah. <laughs> yeah, we were doing the friendship dangle over the edge, trying to like turn and flick the other person across. No. Oh yeah, we were getting real creative oh. with it. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. I'm but, very sorry. I commit you to the gorge. Oh. <laughs> Hoisted by my own stabby petard. Whatever. It'll we'll be fine. We're yeah. going to be good. Let's do it. We totally got this. Totally got this. I'm a deer. There's no way this goes <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's just get all the like jinxes. Hey, what's the worst <laughs> that could happen? Yeah. <laughs> we oh, have to no. fall, but not hit the spikes. Because if you get them <gasps> straight That's down, right. it still wrecks your day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. You're right. <laughs> but it counts if your corpse hits it. So Woo! hey, I'll take it. Sorry, I don't know. Oh, lava, right? Yeah. And sure. Look go. at me. I put a point in vigor. Ooh. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're seeing a lot of arcs conclude today. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, is this is this the same dancels I've been watching this whole time? <laughs> well, that co-op Dan series really went off the rails as soon as Dan Jones started putting points in vigor. <laughs> <laughs> it's our shark it's, jump it's moment. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what won't Dan do? He'll put points in vigor now? Jeez. Oh, edge guarding. Get out of here. Ah! Every guard is edge guard in this game. That's <laughs> a good point. <laughs> ah! Ah! Get out of here, sir. <laughs> From downtown, <laughs> Sir Knight. <laughs> he has been shut out. That is the most satisfying <laughs> victory flourish I've ever experienced in any video game. That's better than taunting in Smash Brothers or any game with a taunt. <laughs> Being able to win and then, ha ha, get out of here. The fact that you can't do that in other games means other games have failed. <laughs> I wasn't missing it in other games, but now I am. Now I'm retroactively sound. <gasps> Ooh. And it's all great. Now, if I sound a little frazzled, it's in part because um, uh, I actually started recording what I thought was going to be this episode like 20, 25 minutes ago uh, with the intent that before I move on, I'm going to try to go back to that branch in the path way back there before the little elevator that wasn't going to let me up. And... um. So I did all that. I ran back to check the elevator again. The elevator does come back down if you wait for it, but then it won't go back up. So it won't take you back upstairs. So I ran all the way back here. I was like, fine, I'll warp out. I warped out. I warped back around to the uh, quarry <laughs> warp pad point, looped all the way back through here to get back down to the earlier part of this sad underground Tron land and found Eventually, once I got back there, that, oh, the uh, the other branch in the path that I didn't check before coming down here was just a shortcut back to near the start of Tron Land. So that was a lot of effort. And then it took like another few minutes getting back down here. <laughs> and I just decided to start the episode here to save everyone some trouble. So there, I just wasted like a minute and a half of your time instead of 25. Let's go! If land has Good left fight. a thing on the ground. Oh. So be, I'll see about it then. A splintering bolt. One splintering <gasps> bolt. One one solid splintering bolt. Okay, I Don't. saw you uh, play friends <laughs> in the Discord. Yeah, that's right. I was reading. 
They're like, we're gonna each leave one splintering bolt. <laughs> Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> You're funny, huh? Uh, look at these trolls. <laughs> that's, that's a very good bit. <laughs> you know, they should do that more often. They should more frequently have when you come up to a, like a fog wall or a, a door to a boss room or something. The boss should more frequently be like, hey, don't come in here. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, someone's here. Uh, it's, uh, it's closed. It's Occupied. Closed. It's locked. No, thank you. <laughs> you know, I I would like that. I should try that more. <gasps> Lord Jangle! Lord oh my Jangle! Gosh. Wow. That's wow. incredibly fitting. <laughs> Welcome, Lord what Jangle. A, what a pool. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, you can just do that while sitting. That's awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that those ones auto pop, and then if you have the covenant item, you can summon like the the spear line. <laughs> I think you've been left something. A single blintering bolt. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord Jang. <laughs> Very kind. Uh... Appreciate it. <laughs> just for that, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna return it. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly sure how I go about fixing this. Do these even still work? Oh, that's good. Um, what if I go in here? What do you think will happen? You think so? Huh. I mean, I agree, but I have no other ideas. And eventually I'm going to learn to... Stop and think about what I'm doing when I say that. So, um... Who do you guys think was responsible for putting all these keys here and opening the seal? We're all trying to find out who's responsible for this. Yeah, that hero is a fool, I agree. Darned hero. Messing everything up. Fourth key. Oh. Was I the- was the hero supposed to find another key? Siege engine. Go right, that thing I- um... That thing that broke. I'm gonna go before someone suspects. Look around, these are the people, uh, these are all the viewers waiting for the servers to go back up. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on that miss, buddy. It's good mist. It's good for you. Breathe it in. Whoa. I'd like to think that it, like, when you are in the mist, it smells like Vicks Vapor Rub. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Clear your sinuses right up, but it will kill you with time. With time. <laughs> it will kill you, but but you you'll breathe nice. You know, I always hear people say that you can't take it with you, like all the wealth you accrue and whatever. But my current experiences seem to suggest otherwise. Not only can you take all of your money with you, you can continue acquiring it just outright. Robbing whoever placed these chests here. And I get to keep all my stuff. And weirdly, I'm much easier to kill as a ghost. This isn't at all what I expected. Oh, I was like, why am I not shooting arrows? I ran out. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, then it really nice. is time for the playthrough to end. <laughs> wow. The final arrow has been shot. <laughs> uh, you know, I think there's only one thing left to say, Dan. What's that? <laughs> right you are. <laughs> no! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I have a gun. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sir? I have a gun. And Pac-Man's gun. <laughs> yeah. So that's how it works. I don't remember that from Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, was that, that was weird. Uh, was that the fires and spurts, I think? <laughs> yeah. 
I'm being eaten. Yeah, I don't actually know how that works. Was I healing by eating you? I think you were just eating him. That's weird. He was having a munch, you know? The worst thing is somebody's into that. Yeah, I don't actually... Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna, there there are, exist at least five fan fictions that feature that exact same scenario that we just played out. Yeah. Oh. I'm not happy about it either. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> well... Well, congratulations, it lives on your channel forever. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get to go home after this. You, you, you live here. <laughs> Why are there two of these? How's it going? Yeah, me neither. Cathedral. Incredible treasure. Heroes laurels. I don't mean to alarm you, but hey, down here. Hey. Hey. I think I'm wearing it. Hey. Hello? Bad listener. Uh, okay, excuse me. Pardon. You know, I guess I don't have to be just sitting here being vulnerable to this stuff. That's stupid. Let's be a ghost in a mask. That's different stupid. Can't wait because we love these delightful little games. They're so cute. They're so cute and silly and just fun. I yeah. do have one little like slight request for uh, the creator of these games who I've adored your work very much. But I did kind of note uh, in starting the game that uh, the options menu is- Incorrect. It's like an options menu, which is all good and well. Like that's usually what I expect from most games. But uh, like the frog detective experience that I have come to expect over time <laughs> yeah. uh, is something very different as you can see on screen right now. This is historically what a frog detective options menu looks like. And there is something pretty special about that, I have to say. So if that could be just patched <laughs> in at some point at your earliest convenience. <laughs> How he get him hat in that? <laughs> How he get, yeah, wait a second. <laughs> you have to like take two halves of the helmet and yeah. seal it He's over. He's sealed inside that. <laughs> He's been in there since birth. Yeah. He was born so to be a racer. He was born to be a mechanic. He's the, you look at him. He's got a wrench in his hand. Yeah. That wrench is attached to his hand. You can't remove it. Can't. Welcome to Playframe, everyone. <laughs> and the Battle of the Dans. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, uh, that was... That was, that yeah. was hmm. So here's a good question. Do Dans win if none of them won? I guess we're still going. Yeah, well, let's... Let's not let's not ask ourselves hard questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a future that, that, dance problem. Yeah. <laughs> so, so there's a thing in in, in my stream community. Uh huh. Um, I dislike cold chocolate. I think it's flavorless and pointless. Okay, right. so I, I I agree that the flavor of cold chocolate is significantly reduced. However, mm -hmm. the benefit of cold chocolate in my mind is that you get to experience the chocolate over a longer period of time because you don't just like bite it and chew it and swallow it like you would regular chocolate. You like let it melt in your mouth a little oh, bit. So it's like chocolate you earn. Yeah, yeah. but you're you're making the chocolate warm. Like Yeah. Yeah. Because you're cold chocolate it. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but but like it's a it's a but the cold enables this time based element to your, mm -hmm. to your enjoyment of it. Okay. That extends over a longer duration. I'm just I'm just hearing some just cold some sympathizer. Some, <laughs> yeah. some cold chocolate propaganda. Does the cold chocolate, does the fact that you have to spend more time with a weaker product, like, does more of a weaker thing become, a, like, outdo a short time with a better thing? Yes. Ultimately. Well, no, 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 because it ends up in the good spot, right? You're not, like, you don't lose the good part of it. I see. You just add, like, a little bit of... All right, well, I've just ran into an ice cream cone. Um, <laughs> it's the whole level. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, what did I expect? That's a bomb. Um, yes, because you get that. Not only are you adding chocolate enjoyment to your chocolate, because the whole process of eating it takes longer, and it's also harder to... Enjoy? I agree. No, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's harder to, uh, like, pace yourself when you're eating very mm -hmm. delicious things uh, than... You, you get that like nice uh, time release uh, enjoyment out of it, and then you get to enjoy the chocolate as you would have if you had just taken a chocolate bar from the store shelf or whatever. I've never thought this much about chocolate hot or cold in my entire life. At least now we know how to get back here when we're finally ready. 
No. No! The old hag said that I would die by Beyblades and I didn't believe her! Curse you, cruel spinning fate! And I got 400, and I don't think I've capped out very often. Let's go with speed and to see what happens. Well, good. No such thing as too fast, right? No, this, if this franchise has proven anything, my little Elder Coco friend, too fast can definitely be an enormous problem for me. <laughs> You're telling me you put a chocolate bar in the fridge and you eat it, it's better than just taking a chug of bar at room temperature. Yes. What? In also, I mean, insane. I also don't, I also don't do this a lot, so I don't have a ton of things, but at my aunt's house, she keeps chocolate bars in the fridge. Interesting. I hate it. This whole time, I was sort of thinking of like chocolate chunks and ice cream. Like if we're just thinking like keeping a candy bar in the fridge, that is feeling weirder. Right? I'm kind of coming around to Jones' side yeah. on this. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's let's not be hasty about any judgments here. <laughs> uh. Among the many tombstones, there are black tombstones that can be turned. Turn these tombstones and point them in the right direction. The pattern on the ground may give a hint. <laughs> I wonder what that hint is. Oh, boy. Turning more than one at a time, huh? All right. I hope that wherever I'm buried someday, my tombstone's the one that has the cool rotating puzzle functionality. It really makes you feel special. All the other deceased are going to be so jealous. It's like, like, what is... Are you just, like, eating the cold chocolate and then swallowing it immediately and just being like, Oh, God, I just, why would I spend my time doing this? <laughs> Like, no, you savor it, which, like, True. honestly, you're supposed to do when you eat food anyway, but it's hard for me, and I assume other people, some other people, yeah. to, like, slow down and chew your food and, like, enjoy it for however many chews you're supposed to do or whatever. That but, is true. Uh, I'm with you on that one. And this is just like, okay, now I'm going to force you to do that, and you get, like, this molten chocolate effect. Yeah, because the molten chocolate's the good part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we can just So we can just have more of that. <laughs> It's like why it's it's like nah. it takes Emmons two years to eat a candy bar. Yeah. <laughs> also, it's healthier. Uh, but like, would you would you want to watch a movie and just like skip right to the fight scene? Yeah. And just like, oh no, we're done. Yeah, okay, I just need to see the. Honestly, some movies kind of yes, but <laughs> yeah, but like when you uh, but when you see the whole plot and you can appreciate how we got here, that's just a better journey and experience. Yeah, but I will not be taking any more questions <laughs> at this time. <laughs> well, if you're not going to tell me the details, why did you call? I have a special surprise for you. Hmm? As you know, the terrain of Cowboy County is vast and rough. It's coarse and rough. I knew. I just knew in your brain you were trying to calculate how to get from here to Star Wars prequels Anakin. <laughs> and and in everywhere. <laughs> You're just trying to figure out how many steps do I need to take to connect these dots. I could just hear the gears spinning. <laughs> I know you very well now. <laughs> I suppose you do. Then you know how much I hate sand. <sighs> I know you do. Oh. Here's a fun, like, like hypothetical and thought exercise. Mm -hmm. So Waluigi's never gotten a Waluigi game. Yep. If Waluigi did, what would that game be? Like, Wario's had some games and they all sort of center around like uh, greed or ran like wacky randomness. Okay, there's two options. Okay. Um, one, it has to, We. what do we know about Waluigi's personality? Jealous of Mario Brothers, right? Like that's right. kind of, he wishes he was Luigi and got the, the same billing as the Mario Brothers, he doesn't. Uh, he likes to showboat. Yeah, he likes to showboat. It is a game in which it is like a platformer where he like tries to do the Mario Brothers thing, but is pretty bad at it. So he has to find another way of doing the platforming. And then a lot of the gameplay moment to moment is like kind of like a platformer, but they find some cool, uh, unique um, mechanic that lets you experience something akin to a Mario level in a new way. Interesting. Option two. 
they go full force with the fact that Waluigi has crippling anxiety due to the fact that he does not uh, get the same billing as the Mario Brothers, and it's actually just like a 20-hour introspection of the human condition <laughs> and why Waluigi is like suffering because of the the uh, the the what society is pushing on him and mm -hmm. the fact that he is the reverse of a Mario brother and that he does not have his own identity uh, and that he's trying to be what the people want him to be despite the fact that society made him something different. That is an interesting read because I was going to like posit that there's actually like really high self-esteem on uh, Waluigi in, in that they do sometimes portray him with like a rose in his teeth. Like he like, yeah. sort of like uh, he pictures himself sexy. So maybe dating sim. Ooh. I mean, I'm going to level with you, Dan. She's the only one you can date, yeah. but he's like very high degree of difficulty. It's all, it's all Waluigi and just different cost, different hats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dan, I'm going, I'm going to have incredibly good and or bad news based on who you are. That's probably an itch.io game somewhere already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I can confirm that exists. See, I was thinking he's uh -huh. always in the sports and party game. So what if it was like a reboot of Pilot Wings, but he's... He's a pilot. He, he's oh. the he's the character who's you know going through all the. It's Wii Sports, but starring Waluigi. <laughs> it's Waluigi Sports. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> who's the kind of person who gets invited to all the parties, but that no one wants to spend time with otherwise? Rich person. Uh, oh, somebody. <laughs> somebody's brother. <laughs> Well, I found a way out. I know there's another secret way out that I don't remember. Here, let's go back in. Let's see if I can figure out the secret. Okay, so that was the, like, vanilla way to get through that area. I want to try to find the other way to do it. So, okay. Is there, like, a secret door? There is a secret door. And I go in here, and then... Uh... Okay. That's nothing. Hmm... Okay. This has to be a special kind of agony for a considerable subset of people watching right now. <laughs> Which I'm sort of delighted by. I, I like the fiction you established for why Isabel is losing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I do not have any excuse. I spent the whole first five minutes of this playthrough talking about the incredible powers that baby Rosalina has. True. You are, well, yeah, but then, like... The fact that she is still an infant does, like, give you an out if you need a justification. She got sleepy. Yeah. She needed mm -hmm. a nap. She's mm -hmm. powerful. It's like, I've not seen Boss Baby, but I assume... <laughs> I assume it's something like this. <laughs> I assume that even though that baby sure acts a lot like an adult, many hijinks and many jokes involve the fact that it is still a baby who has to operate by baby rules. Yeah. Baby rules that are specifically selected to create the maximum mm -hmm. amount of chaos and hilarity. Yes. And by hilarity, I mean whatever Boss Baby is. And references to, like, Alec Baldwin films. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you said you hadn't seen it. <laughs> I mean, I've seen a trailer. <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> Which, I'm making some assumptions, and I am gonna go ahead and just call it right now that I am 100% right every single time. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what you do on the internet, right? Yep. <gasps> Whoop. Wait. Coffee? Ah! <laughs> hmm. It is getting a little bit more spooky. Maybe that's the music. <laughs> what about the other photographs, though? Maybe they're ghost photographs. Ooh. <laughs> um. Shut up, I didn't scream for real at the. <laughs> That is quite a f sound effect to be jump scared by. So, um. But it was so sudden. Oh. Ow. That was rude. Oh, that's ha -ha. a sword. I have a sword. <laughs> 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 Didn't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> God. I was kind of hoping it would it would happen before you got the point. Yeah. This is very good. This game is very good. It's a good game. Oh gosh. It looks like it's the fridge's day. Nope, not anymore. Hang on, it's gonna take me a second to reload this one. Yeah. It's a, a musket. <laughs> Hang on, there we go. No! Hang on. Gotta oh, wait. reload this thing. Hold hey. up, hold up, hold up. There we go. Oh! Ah, they're so inaccurate. 
Hang on. Hang on. Just. Oh. <laughs> You know, the reload times on these aren't great. <laughs> yeah. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Playframe and Super Mario World and this fun little nostalgia tour through this game I've not played or at least beaten in so long. And I'm excited to see more of it. You don't have any idea the willpower I am exercising right now, not going right back to that darn ghost house. And I only say that now so that when I go back to the darn ghost house very soon, probably, you'll understand where that's coming from. It's an earnest desire to see what's inside the ghost house. Or to figure out the secret- you know what I mean. No, no. That was very close. That's icy, everyone. Watch your step. You'd think if anyone, a fridge would be most prepared for this. <laughs> you would think. <laughs> oh my god, this, what a good video game. What a good video game. game. This is what Miyamoto wanted. <laughs> I know in Bushnell was- was- making Pong, they're like, someday. This is all going to be for something. Yeah. And, uh, I, and I'm happy that they got to live to see it. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> you got bopped by the gun. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, that's right. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. That was amazing. Oh, my God. I'm not even. That was so good. That was so good. I can't. What an incredible comeback! I'm what a, I am, Dan uh, just guys. I have I have incredible this is news. Your game, God, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go pro in duck game. <laughs> I'm um, a duck game esports person now. <laughs> Hi, fish. What a good fish! What a good, dopey looking fish. No, I hate this fish. What a terrible fish. It is ironic that that ghost house mystery is literally going to haunt me. Oh boy. Not our best work. No. Mario, don't peace sign that. We've embarrassed ourselves. Oh good, another ghost house. I'm sure this one will be ni nicer. <clears throat> I have no one to blame but myself. I hate that thing already. I don't know where you're putting it, but I don't like it. And it's impacting my feelings about you as a person. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Where did she get a jetpack? No. Wait a <laughs> second. What? I hit the jetpack. Wow, look uh, at you. Monster. You're the look Mario Maker that. level guy who hides the invisible door uh -huh. somewhere in the beginning. Hit the mushroom in the block. <laughs> wow. I I may be in a bit of a pickle here. You can, you can do this. Come on. You got this. I'm dancing encouragingly in your direction. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> All right, well. Oh! The horse the yet horse lives! Comes wow. back! The wow. horse. I am not upset. Yet that's, lives. That's, uh, very impressive. Wow. That was a peak on the audio, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, that was, was some peaking, for sure. That's fine. Sorry, Carrie. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> Disagree. Come now. <laughs> That mole and I basically did the samurai standoff thing. There was just sort of like a flash of light. And then it was Mario who fell in the tall grassy field. Is what I'm saying making sense? This is actually having the Katamari effect, isn't it? The longer I spend playing Mario, the more nonsense I talk. Eh, not this time. No! <laughs> but your friend, your backup. Now this time, let's not... Botch it as... Wow. I've changed my mind about the moles. The moles are bad. <laughs> this mm. is just hay bale? Hay bale. Oh, hay bale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. How are you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> Boy, the, the look on Emmons' face. It wasn't even directed at me, but I kind of felt bad. Well, you're... you. 
Jones is in between you, is mm -hmm. in between the two of us. So <laughs> I was just sort of some friendly fire. I yeah, guess. I apologize for that. You, okay. did, you didn't deserve to get caught in <laughs> what Dan Jones did. Mario found his way through the Forest of Illusion and has put an end to Roy Koopa of Castle Number 5. They couldn't even bother to name these castles. Onward to the dangerous but tasty Chocolate Island. And I don't mean like the dev team, I mean just like the Koopas. They can't even, they don't even have the creativity to come up with a castle name for themselves. Or even just to name it after themselves, Castle Roy. Or something. Just Castle Number 5. What a depressing regime. Back to, uh, right, the elevator. That's what I was going to be doing. Squirrels and elevator. Squirrels in an elevator. I saw what happened when he didn't take the elevator. And so I'm going to learn from the mistakes of my peers. And, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and how, how well are you going to learn from the uh -huh. mistakes of your peers? It's, I should have stopped talking. The yeah. problem was yeah. I kept saying kept words. saying words. All right, so if we can get a feather and keep it. Never mind. Boy, and I thought I was good at Mario. Thank goodness I have Mario here to show me the error of my ways. Nope. Really don't need you to be there, bud. Or I'm just... Ah. Man. Okay, here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can fly while holding a shell. Special thanks to those two. Yeah, special thanks. And special apologies to frog detective fans. Optimists, Cowboy County residents, Sherman, Kylie Minogue, I feel like she'd be upset, <laughs> friends and family. <laughs> we don't have anyone else to credit and there is still time left on the song. The following credits are from Degrassi, The Next Generation, Season 6, Episode 11. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, pretty good joke. <laughs> That's a very good joke. <laughs> wow. How did you win that? <laughs> sitting there with I no believe health. It. It's called a shield, my friend. Oh, oh, if you, did oh, you know that if you, oh. hit the, if you hit the B button, you can the B block? Button? There's a shield mm -hmm. mechanic in this oh, game. Dude, I pushed the B button. If you look at the cards, some of them refer to when you shield, you do it. <laughs> An action? That's what they're talking uh, about there. I believe it's called block. <laughs> I believe uh I believe it's called being a jerk. Oh. <gasps> Pick yeah, well you were no. <laughs> Pick your card. <laughs> I tire of this bit. <laughs> <laughs> like I know you're supposed to say yes in improv, but I think I would never be too upset if anybody who I was like an improv partner with said it's like I tire of this bit. Yeah. I tire. Next thing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It's a very it's a, it's an important part of improv is knowing yeah. when it needs to die. <laughs> <laughs> no, not how we wanted this to go, Yoshi. Yoshi, why are you so fast at running underwater? That's literally impossible. This is you, Yoshi. Yeah, man. All right, Dan. I'm counting on you to take out Dan. Okay. Oh no. We've both made a huge mistake. Me shooting, you, you trust faith in me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we both learned a valuable lesson here about Dan trust. Mm -hmm. Do okay, I? I need you to, to, to be dead. <laughs> okay. okay. Now I need you to be dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like oh. this new strat you've adopted of like asking sort of directly. It, yeah. it, it was, I mean, it almost worked. Asking you sure receive, right? That's how, that's how this works. I think it's worth a try. Really worried. I don't like any of these for how they combine with your nonsense. Yeah, me yeah. either. Okay, well, yeah, okay. I've, um. You know where the round started? I actually. Good gracious! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just have to get you before you get me. Found you. Oh yeah, no, hold on. I, I, I need to, I need to solve this Dan Jones situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. It's a little further. It's a little further. Just need to, to get. Yeah, we go. That's the idea. That's the idea. Oh, no. 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 Jeez. No. No. It's, uh, it's a very scary gun. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Deep. Deep indeed. Whoa, nice good block. block. Wow. Gosh, no. My reload is eight. 
18 months. It's so long. This is this is intense. Whoa. I've never it, seen it because normally I'm just go chaotic and I yeah. die immediately. Yeah. Huh. If you uh, had won that one, I would not be upset. You you would have earned it. <laughs> Gosh. Thank you. Oh, oh geez, oh jeebers. No, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I love this power. Uh. As long as we're secret hunting. There is something in the cheese bridge area. And who doesn't love time on a bridge? So where would the secrets be? In this near floorless place. Not much of a bridge if you think about it. More of a really, really bad, high-stakes gondola. Can't say I'm a fan. I want to try the throw. Come here. Give me your wooden spoon. I need to throw you. Whoops. I meant to do that. That was kind of betrayed by the whoops. <laughs> uh, no, whoops is my cat's name. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, whoops. <laughs> I distinctly remember being over a friend's house um, and trying to, like, do that. <laughs> didn't mean to laugh at your expense. Like, I just hit the wrong button, but I it did it. pretty I've funny. I've done it, too. It's, it's really good. <laughs> He's hurt. Quick. Ah, oh, fine. I'll just keep my fire flower powers. I'll just keep going is what I meant to say. Boy, water ghosts are the worst kind. Especially if you arm them with a battleship of some sort. I do like the sort of world-building element of this. It feeling like Bowser crashed one of his Mario 3 airships into the sea here, which is why Bowser's currently located here. And also why we're finding one of these Mario 3 style cannon airships underwater, sunken and inhabited by ghosts. The implications. I'm just saying we have the makings for a very good prepare to cry episode here. If Vati Video would return my calls. Yeah, I don't no, know. No, I was, it was, it was, I was just being like genuinely nice. Oh. <laughs> that was kind of you. It was not, however, kind of you to call yourself a schmuck. Cause well, I mean, I deserve it. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Listen. Boo. Boo this Dan. Boo him. Boo. 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 <laughs> no, but no. But supportively. You know, yeah, no, no, no. no. In, the in the comments, I want everybody to write one nice thing about Dan Jones. No. Ha. Bet you feel pretty stupid for being in there when I hit that red switch. You're trapped forever and no longer a threat to me. And for me, that feels pretty good. I'm using your head as a platform now. This is what the kids would probably call styling. In some era past. I think if there's one thing we can all agree on, well, there's probably a lot, but one additional thing is that Dan wins. Dan Cold wins. chocolate is the best. What? <laughs> oh, no, Dan you, wins. Sorry. Yeah, you, yeah. you didn't even agree on that fact. <laughs> You said it was better oh, no, he when it was said it hot. Now. Wait, no, what? You said it was better when it warm and melt in your mouth. Are you doing a, like, we Bugs can't, Bunny Daffy Duck thing we right can't now? We can't. We, <laughs> it's late. We can't do this are you, right. are you doing duck season? It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's wabby season. <laughs> it's wabby season. Right, right, get us on. Dan, 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 do the intro. Do the intro.